how it ended. It just, the season's over. And it's, I guess the words that come to mind right now is disappointment, um, confusion. And then I would say the other part is, is if you start looking at the season, like it, it was an honor to coach that group. You know, I know we didn't get to where we wanted. I get that. But their professionalism, their work ethic, their commitment to being pros, it was a joy to be around. Thank you. Uh, at the end of the game, you were probably inside, but Patrice greeted every player, saluted the fans, kind of had a tear in his eye. Could you just talk about, you know, how he ended the exit of this game? Um, I didn't notice that, yeah. so unaware. Um, and I guess with you telling me that, I you know I saw him. He did the same thing last year. It hurts to lose. It's painful. How much do you feel for Swayman there, especially for what he gave you in overtime? Yeah, I mean, you know, we. Uh, I thought Florida was a better team tonight. Just being honest, they were the better team. You know, we had a. Our second period was good, but first and third, they were better than us. In overtime, they were better. What areas do you feel like over the balance of the series? You're Sorry, the third period, we were better. First and second, I thought they were. Over the balance of the seven games, where do you feel like the differences you know, were in the series between the two teams? Um, I thought that that Bennett line was pretty dominant. You know, Kachuk's an outstanding hockey player. And... We didn't contain them, you know. Uh, I thought they always changed the momentum back to them every time they were on the ice, pretty much. I thought that if I'm looking at the series, that was the biggest difference. Because <clears throat> statistically, our, our power play was better. So that means our penalty kill was better than theirs. You know, there's a lot of things, but <clears throat> in the end, that line kept making plays. And they're on the ice again, winning a battle behind the net, they score. Jim, how frustrating was it that you, you guys could not solve that forecheck and, and continually turn the puck over at the blue line? Yeah, I mean, our wall play wasn't good enough, you know. Give them credit. They were ultra-aggressive and um, caused a lot of extra opportunities in the offensive zone. Uh, Jim, you've been around Patrice for a season. Just describe what it was like to see him up close and personal, you know, in the room, on the ice? Um, incredible experience. You know, just because he, his awareness, his maturity, his ability to communicate, his ability to listen as part of that communication, um, and then just how great a hockey player he is. Uh, learned a lot, you know, from him this year. Hope to learn more next year. <clears throat> what went into the decision for to go with Swayman over Allmark? Um, we just, you know, <clears throat> thought he was going to give us the best chance tonight. You know, you'd have to ask goalie Bob a little more in detail about that. Um, but we all thought that he was going to give us the best opportunity tonight. What's What's your evaluation of second half of the third period and also over time and what you saw from, from your group? Um, I guess once, once we got the lead you're talking about, I guess, second half. Yeah, <clears throat> um, I thought we uh, didn't possess pucks well enough. Um, I thought we were just looking to punt pucks, not playing our normal puck possession game when we had it. I thought we defended and checked hard, but we're checking too much because of our puck play. 